everybody, welcome back to the channel. Dan Sayuk here. If you're new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon to stay up to date. So on today's lore video, we have Neil Carlson. Her backstory, her lore, everything you guys want to find out about her. She has a short story, just like Jake Park. I want to get to it, but before that, as always, random facts of the day, guys. Surgeons who play video games at least three hours a week perform about 27% faster and make 37% fewer errors. Holy shoot. Really? Surgeons? Surgeons who play video games don't make as much mistakes as surgeons who put in more effort and time? That is... Wow. That is... Being a surgeon is tough. It's stressful as heck. If I was a surgeon, I don't even know I'll make it out past college. Man, if you're a surgeon, applause. If you're on your way to become a surgeon, good luck. You're going to need it. Good paying job, good paying field, but really really stressful and you're always on call and high demand. But yeah, that is that for the random fact. I'm going to get into some lore. Sit back, relax, and hear my storytelling voice. Not the best, but let's get to it. Neil Carlson Backstory At first sight, I thought it was a cat that passed me by Just a few meters behind me A shadow that moved without sound But yelling is not wise in this place I have spotted her more times But just in the peripheral, I still don't know her name But she evades the monsters with a certain grace Neil Carlson Backstory Slash Lore Neil is of a Swedish descent a tagger and a bit of a troublemaker. She started rebelling when she was 16. She dyed her hair black and cut it in a way she liked it. In her early teens, her parents thought she lacked that thing that makes everyone else normal. She may have gone too far when her friends, not thinking well, dared her to take the old asylum she has never seen again and now tries her best to survive the entity's dangers. Neil grew up in a small town of Hodjol, Hijol in Sweden. She had a Happy childhood even thought her mom and dad worked hard, even though her mom and dad worked hard. As the opportunity to move to the U.S. became a reality, she started acting out. Her parents really didn't pick up on this as a reaction to their move. Neil was forced to leave her friends and life behind. Neil, shot, Neil shied away from what her parents considered normal. Instead, she took refuge in skate parks and her tag, Mash Ticks, was, was seen more or less all over her new hometown and Neil made a sport out of tagging government buildings. Finally, Neil's parents became used to Neil disappearing for a few days on end. As she's nibble and almost cat-like, she's able to evade deadly dangers. Years on skateboard has proven worthy training, and keeping her head down, avoiding the fuzz, can be applied to all dangers. The only question is whether she has some interest in not giving up. Wait, how did I get hurt off of that? I don't even know how I got hurt. Did a did a trap have some kind of hit effect? Maybe that totem did something to me. Try and look at the ground, make sure I don't get set up, you know. It's probably in the basement. You gotta be careful when you play against the trapper. Why I'm spending time here? They already got you. Oh shoot! <laughs> Did 
This ain't good. guys I gotta heal we all need to heal good save good save good save he was looking my direction my spine shell just lit up Doesn't seem like there's anybody. We need to get gens. Alright guys, I'm just being cautious. Just keep working on the gen. Just keep working on the gen. Come on, teammates. All right, you took the hit. I think you're dead, King. Come on, guys. All right. The trapper should be heading that way. I'm working on a gen, guys. You guys need to hold on. Good job, good job. Get each other up. Doing decent, guys. About to pop this gen here for you guys. Ooh. Who the heck? Oh, that's what happens. Every time I disarm a trap, I take a hit. What? They must have changed that. Back when I remember, you could just disable it without any effect. I knew he was coming that way. I was trying to turn back. I should have looked at my spine chill. He can see you guys heal. That was my mistake, guys. I played it poorly. It's not looking good. We need to get out of here. Oh, actually, I don't want to be all right here. Maybe I should heal right here. 
Alright guys. I need to heal quick. So he's very he's smart when placing his trap, so we gotta be very, very careful where we step. I'm scared he placed a trap in these tall grasses somewhere. Just hold on teammate, I'll be there. Sticking around the step in that. I just gotta make sure there's no trash by the windows. Got it, Meg. Laurie, over here. My mistake, teammate. I'm sorry. He should be heading this way. Watch out for traps, guys. I got you guys. Guys, we need to get to the door, guys. Sorry, guys. Had some audio issues with my commentary. So, you guys are listening to my pre-recording here. I'm just getting recording. I saw the killer trapper. Team, open the door. I was so amazed and surprised how we all escaped. It was luck. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't and you guys watched it this far, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and please share this, this video. It means a lot to the channel. And thank you again, everyone. Stay safe.